begin our discussion about the TART acronym. What is the TART acronym? Well, this is the T, the A, the R, and the T, all testing for somatic dysfunction. So we've got the T for tenderness. Let's start with tenderness, also known as sensitivity. This is going to be point tenderness at a location. So I'm going to be palpating my own wrist. Oh, ouch, it hurts right there. It could be a somatic dysfunction. So then we've got the A. A stands for asymmetry. We're going to compare bilaterally. So I'm going to be feeling for uh, asymmetry between both of my wrists. Do I feel anything different? If I do, it could indicate a somatic dysfunction. Let's uh, check out the R. The R is pretty straightforward. Restriction of motion. So I'm going to be testing motion uh, in all, uh, all aspects of my wrist. I'm going to radially deviate, ulnar deviation, wrist extension, wrist flexion. I'll do that bilaterally and I'll compare. If I'm restricted in one of those ranges of motion, on the affected side, it may be a somatic dysfunction. And lastly, uh, the major one is going to be the tissue texture change uh, associated with the TART acronym. So there's going to be two different types of tissue changes. There's going to be acute and there's going to be chronic. So an acute change is going to be hot. An acute change is going to be erythematous. You're going to see redness. You're going to see swelling. You're going to see an acute injury. Uh, in a chronic somatic dysfunction, you're going to feel cold. You're going to feel uh, ropey stringy, you're going to feel uh, chronic changes. So another word for acute would be boggy, uh, a buzzword, but really it's the chronic being the cold, the stringy, the ropey.